Hey, KU fans, welcome back to KU Sports Extra here at Lloyd Noble Center in Norman, Oklahoma. Norman. You know any good Normans? Norman. Hmm. No, not off the top of my head. Greg Norman. Oh, okay. Norman Bates. Isn't that the guy from Psycho? It is, right? Yeah, you know who went Psycho tonight? <laughs> Isaiah Moss. Isaiah Moss did. Just Kansas. call him Psycho. That's his new nickname, Psycho. Psycho. It could catch on, actually. He doesn't really fit him, but it no. could catch on. <laughs> Uh, he was psycho though. He had six of 11 three pointers in, in a gotta have it type of game and a yeah. gotta have it type of performance. Started. Started. Forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. So KU wins it 66 to 52. Is yep. that the final? Yep. And uh, a huge, huge win for this team when you consider that Devon Dotson didn't play because of that hip pointer. Uh, ruled out just after shoot around today. Tried to go, couldn't go. Tried to go and shoot around anyway. Didn't try to play. Um, but just, just not there. They said, Coach Self said it has not been responding how they hope to the uh, treatment and just it's just too painful right now. So took the night off, Moss started in his place, didn't play his role, but <laughs> no, started you in you his place. That. No, you don't want him to be in your point guard. <laughs> Who you do want to be your point guard is, is Marcus Garrett. And he did it for 38 minutes on uh, what, what Christian Brown said was a half and a leg or something, <laughs> half right? Half an I mean, ankle. Yeah, uh, injured, beat up, just willing this team to victory with, with uh, 15 points five rebounds, five assists, and the one turnover. As you guys know, uh, Marcus Garrett's all about the outcome, the result. He doesn't care about the numbers, but he did care about that number tonight. One turnover in 38 minutes on a couple of bum legs without Devon out there uh, on the road. I mean, it's just a great performance. Uh, as Jarence Howard was running up the, the tunnel after this game, up back to the locker room after the win, he just kept yelling, gritty, gritty, gritty. That's <laughs> what it was, man. They, they really, really grinded their way through this one. It was 28, 27 at halftime, and the next thing you know, uh, they're in control most of the second half, and, and uh, that wasn't e easy to do, considering that they only had about six hours to figure out that, that Dotson wasn't gonna play. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, it's not easy to win on the road without your starting point guard, um, and especially with a guy like Devon Dotson, who is so critical to what you do defensively, right. with his speed and just instincts, and the way, you know, how many times, I mean, I feel like he's good for at least or just like random deflections through a passing lane a game, and then that gets you out for easy Three baskets points, or right. him for a layup. Right. You're losing that, but you're also losing one of your creators. Now Marcus Garrett's your only creator from the perimeter. Pretty much, yeah. Um, Devon, you know, he's not necessarily a guy you look to for shooting, but he can get to the rim and score. Free I mean, throws. He, yeah, he, gets, he, he draws fouls, he finishes inside. I mean, he, his scoring inside has been you could argue just as important as Yudoka's for this this team's offense, you know? I yeah. mean, Yudoka obviously does all his scoring inside, but Devon consistently gets to the paint and gets layups, whether that's in transition or, transition or just beating his man off the bounce. So, I mean, you lose a ton there. And to, to come in here and, you know, beat a, a pretty good Oklahoma team, beat them handily, too. Yeah. I mean, that, that was an impressive victory for, for KU. Maybe, maybe it helped that, you know, they're coming off that Baylor loss and still, you know, feeling kind of angry about. The yeah, that could help there. or hurt you though, right? You, you know, it starts to spiral. You lose your point sure. guard. You just lost a tough game at home, and now, what happens if we lose this one? I mean, that you know, depending on your makeup, yeah, that could yeah. that could take you the other direction too. And I think that's what they learned. Marcus Garrett said it after this game. When I asked him what what you learn about your team tonight, we're tough. Yeah, that's what he said. I mean, and he's right. I mean, this is you kind of wrote about this last week sometime. This tonight was a game that last year's team wouldn't have won. Right, and, exactly. And there were a lot of those, and, and the Iowa State one was kind of the same way, even though it was an easier win. This team is showing its identity in that regard. And, and um, you know, 2-0 on the road in the Big 12 is 2-0 and on the road in the Big 12. doesn't matter who played or how they played. It's, it's They got it done, and, and you mentioned Yudoka. Um, look, 16 points, 14 rebounds, played 33 minutes. He, he was a force all over the floor with his size and just impacting pretty much everything that went on. But I think what Self was most impressed by and what, what stood out to me for sure was just how hard he played defensively. Absolutely. He, he didn't block seven shots like he did the other day. But you don't need to he block seven shots to onto be guards a hugely and, impactful defender yes. when you're moving your feet the way he did. He switched onto guards and would lock them up late in the shot clock. Uh, Harmon, late in the game, had, had I mean, it was still a six or eight point game, and, and he got caught on a switch, which is exactly what the Oklahoma bench was calling for. Right. Uh, they switched. Udoka's guarding their quickest guy with the ball. He couldn't get by him, and, and not only could he not get by him, when he picked up his dribble, he had nowhere to go because 
Yudoka's presence was just suffocating him. So that kind of stuff is phenomenal. I, again, I think that's what Self was most impressed by tonight, and, and that's sort of a microcosm of just the way this team played. It, it, whatever they had to do to get it done tonight, they mm -hmm. did. Um, their, their veterans played well. I mean, Yudoka yeah. was big, 16 and 14. Marcus Garrett, we already told you his line. That's what you have to have. I thought one of the most underrated things about this game, too, was the way um, Ochai Abaji finished. He didn't play well for about 30 minutes, right. uh, still thinking it too much, in his own head, timid. Uh, but he hit a shot late. He threw that lob to Yudoka late. There Great was pass. a big time yeah. pass. I think that made it 9 or 11 or something. It really was sort of the unofficial icing. Uh, <laughs> and he played with some joy after that. He did, the, he did the bounce and the smile and the spin thing that he does when he's, <laughs> when he's going back, usually after a made shot, but that was after that pass. Uh, watch for that to carry over. I mean, sometimes that's all it takes to get a guy going, and, and, and maybe that was it for, for Ochai tonight. But when you lose a player as important as Devon Dotson, I think what has to happen for you to win and survive it is everybody has to step up. You can't just have right. one guy do it or Absolutely. two guys do it. And tonight, everybody did. I mean, Tristan and Aruna played 11 key minutes, got a big putback late. Um, Christian Brown played big minutes. Um, it, it just, it was a team stepping up and saying, hey, Devon, we've got you, man. Um, get healthy and then come back and, and we'll be better with you. So uh, huge, huge identity things they gained tonight. Huge win, obviously, but I just think what they learned was, was so much more important than anything else. Um, but obviously a big win. 13-3 and three now, 3-1 three and one in the Big 12. Uh, had they lost? This would have been two and two for the first time in conference play since 05-06. Oh, wow. That's forever ago. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they, they didn't have to do that. Any final thoughts before we get out of here? Um, I, I just, I will leave this arena thinking about the way that Bill Self was just gushing about Yudoka's defense. Yeah. Like, I mean, for sure. just think about past years, and I mean, even when Yudoka had good games, there, there would always be this caveat. Well, I'd like to see him, you know, actually turn up on defense go and, after you know, the ball yeah right and, you know move his feet on on against ball screens and you know do the things that we ask him to do and he's capable of doing the, his match his maturation process throughout these throughout his career this is going to be his last year here he's a completely different yeah, player that's a great um, point he's he's been really good this year and they, they don't win this game without him dominating on both ends tonight fifth time in the last six games that he's had double digit rebounds and they needed every one of them tonight it was a uh, that kind of effort. Uh, by the way, before we get out of here, that basket right over there, Yudoka stared it down, made two free throws. <laughs> Key free throws. Put KU back up six or four or something mm -hmm. um, in the second half. That was the basket, man. That was the one where the hack of dope from Lon two Kruger years ago, two yeah. years ago. That was the one. And he stood at the line and they looked good and they looked pure. And we asked him about it afterwards. We asked Self about it. They didn't care. No. I mean, of course they said it felt good, but you, you, know, okay, you guys know by now, he thinks he's making every one. He's not going to, but he thinks he is, and, and that's the maturation that you were talking yeah. about. Uh, that's part of it, too. So uh, just a big win in, in just about every capacity tonight, and uh, Kansas gets out of here with a, a huge 66-52 to 52 win over Oklahoma. They'll head to Austin this weekend for a clash with Texas, another road game. You got a chance to go 3-0 and on the road. Um, wow. That's, that's impressive, but... We'll see if Devon's there or not. Don't know yet. Self said flat out he has no idea on a timeline. It's just going to be about uh, the treatment and, and how he recovers. And he's got a few days now. So uh, we'll see if he's uh, ready to go. But we'll, uh, we'll keep on top of that throughout the week. For Benton Smith, I'm Matt Tate. KU wins at 66-52 here at Lloyd Noble Center. And they're 13-3 and 3-1. We'll talk to you guys again real soon on another episode of KU Sports Extra.